What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Boss Man Juan, aka Juan Yeezy, aka Juan Do. And yes, sir, man. Today we are right to Jimmy High Roller, or should I say, depressed Jimmy High Roller? Man, I just heard news that Jimmy High Roller is a Portland fan. My condolences, bro. I know this one stings. Man, man, oh man. <laughs> I know this one hurt, Jimmy, but you should have seen this a long time ago. That boy Dane Ben said he wanted to get out of there, man. Well, actually, I'm lying. He said I want to. He said I want to build something here. So he lied to y'all boys. He pulled a Kyrie Irving on y'all boys, huh? I know it hurt, bro. I've been through that as a Celtic fan. I know his things, bro. Your player talking about I'm gonna be loyal. I want to bring something here. I want to bring a championship to Portland. And guess what? He goes out the back door. Why don't you even know? That's tough. <laughs> That's tough, man. Hey, let's back to Jimmy High Roller. They should have never let this happen, man. He about to, hey. <laughs> My condolences, dog. Let's get into it. You want to see something interesting? Here is a chart of every single teammate Giannis Antetokounmpo has played with in the NBA. That's every player in every season for the past 10 years. And they're all- Yes, but me, me, me stop by saying this. He has never played with a guy of Damian Lillard's magnitude bro or, or like like nothing nothing even close to Damon Litter he has bro Damon Litter I don't want to say he he's Steph but bro he, he he there this is Steph this is this is Dane as far as talent wise you feel me success wise you know what I'm saying Curry Dane you know what I'm saying it's, it's a gap in that but they play similar they play similar this is gonna be scary that's like having Curry on the bus bro and we've seen that that could have been possible if the Bucks wouldn't, if, if, yo, man, look, bro, go back to the old, you go back, go back to the, 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 the most recent Jimmy High Roller video. Besides this, yo, Curry could have played with the Bucks. He could have played with the Bucks, bro. But guess what? No need for Curry. They got Dame. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay, done talking. All plotted based on how good they were in terms of box plus minus and win shares. Now, over the years, Giannis has played with a lot of guys. OJ Mayo, Jabari Parker, he played with Jason Terry for two seasons, kind of a weird overlap. But his best teammates have all came in the last few seasons. Brooke Lopez, Eric Bledsoe, Chris Middleton, yeah, boy, Drew, Drew Holiday. There's some good seasons my in boy, here Drew. by some good players. And Giannis has made the most of it. And then, there's his new teammate, Damian Lillard, Dude! who will easily be the best player he's ever played with. <laughs> The Easily. NBA's got a new super team, and right now, they're the favorites to win it all. My first pick. What'd you just say? Oh, you must you must have heard who got Drew Holiday. <laughs> you must have heard, man. Yo, Jimmy, I need another video, my boy. You must have heard. Favorite to win what? Against who? Yeah, all right. Going to be Damian Lillard. It's gonna be fire. Today's though. video is sponsored by SeatGeek. No, sir. With football season. No, sir, Jimmy. You're good, but you ain't that good, man. We skipping these. Let's get it. Oh, just head over. Use, use the code. code Jimmy. As a Blazers fan, I've seen some dark days. Days I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I saw my team rally their way to the conference finals for the first time in two decades just to get swept and never return. Mm, I've hurt. had to watch the player that we passed up on turn into an all-time great, while the guy we picked couldn't even stay on the court. Must, must I watched painful. Brandon Roy blossom into a star and then retire literally 50 games later due to injuries. Mm. This is enough to make a man go insane. And then the chosen one, our loyal king, the one glimmer of hope in a bleak and desolate franchise, just packs up and leaves to the Bucks, and we get stuck with DeAndre Bruh. Aiden, a guy we aren't even gonna keep, a rookie, and a seventh grader. And I'm I ain't gonna lie, yo, Blazer fans should be happy with this. They should be happy. They got, they got uh, Anthony Simons. They, they, they had Drew Holiday. I, evidently, you know, what I'm saying he's on my subject now. But they got a good team. They got a great team, bro. You feel me? They, they can they can make a little push. They can be like the 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 sec the 2.0 of what the Thunder are doing. Facts. Even sure where the Bucks came from. The Blazers and the Heat were stuck in one of the weirdest, most drawn out stalemates for the last three months. And out of nowhere, the Bucks came and picked him up for actually a reasonable price. And as sad as I am to see Dame go, 
I'm happy for the guy. Despite everything he's given to the Blazers, the organization never quite put him in a position to win. The man has been in the league for 11 seasons and has played with only one All-Star, and even that was nearly a decade ago. In fact, throughout his career, Dame has made seven All-NBA teams, a feat only 46 players throughout the history of the NBA have accomplished. And out of these players, only 13 of them never won a championship in the NBA. And these 13 players, whether active or retired, are all regarded in the same dismissive fashion. All-time greats who never won a ring. Only four of them are active today. Chris Paul, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Sheesh. and Damian Lillard. Who get a ring first? Tatum? Okay. <laughs> Yo, besides my Celtics, man, the, 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 the player with the best odds of getting a ring... Gotta be Dame, right? Gotta be Dame. Gotta be. Russell Russell Westbrook, he's on the Clippers. We can't trust Paul George's help. We can't we definitely can't trust Kawhi Leonard's help. Ooh, Chris Point got Paul. He's on the Warriors, ain't he? You got a good chance of getting a ring too. But Dane Dollar alongside Chris Milton, alongside the Great Freak. Oh man, yeah, it's no being that. I'm sorry. And all four of them have reached the, the same chance. point in their careers. Don't be the guy who had a stellar career with all the awards and achievements, but no championship to show for it. And so after three months of uncertainty, I think this is about the best case scenario not only for Lillard, but for Giannis and the Bucks. In fact, this trade was actually foreshadowed last season. During the 2023 All-Star Draft selection over every other All-Star reserve, Giannis picked Damian Lillard mm. with his first pick. Back in 2022, Dame was asked who he would play with if he could choose any active player. His answer was Giannis. Oh, this was planned. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up, Jimmy. This was planned. <laughs> this ain't no coincidence. Bro, all, all we was hearing was, yeah, Dame want to go to the Heat. Dame want to go to the Heat. He want to play with Bam. He want to play with Jimmy. He want to play with y'all. <laughs> y'all not fooling me. This was planned all along, wasn't it? It's cool. Thank you for Drew Holiday. They got to go through us still. Fast forward 18 months, and they both got their wish. Oh, so wow. now that he's on the Bucks, and they both got a teammate that far exceeds anyone else they've ever played with, yeah, right how good is this duo, actually? We've seen countless pairs of superstars get hyped up with grand expectations just to fall short and achieve mm, essentially true. nothing together. But if history has shown us anything, this duo is bound to do something great. The big in terms man. of box plus minus, there have only been six duos in the history of the NBA that were as good individually as Giannis and Dame are. And out of those six duos, four of them went on to win the NBA championship Jeez. that season. The only duos that didn't were Harden and CP3 in 2018, who lost to the eventual champs in the conference finals, and Durant and Westbrook, who were one game away from making the finals. History has shown us that when two players of this caliber pair up, it usually results in a championship, or at worst, a game or two away from the finals. We're looking at potentially one of the best duos of the last few decades. Last season, Dame averaged 32 points, seven assists, and four oh rebounds a game. Now, those aren't just historically great numbers. That's a stat line that only Michael Jordan, James Harden, and Luka Doncic have ever achieved in the history of the NBA. Even crazier, Dame did all of this on record high efficiency. And last season, Giannis put up 31 points, 11 rebounds, and five assists per game. A stat line that hasn't been achieved since Wilt Chamberlain did it nearly 60 years ago. We all know just how dominant Giannis is, but I think spending the last decade in the shadow of arguably the greatest point guard ever has made Dame one of the most underrated stars in the league. Both of them are coming off of historically great seasons. We haven't seen a pair like this since KD joined Steph in the Warriors back in 2017. Fact. In fact, the last time in modern NBA history, two volume scores of this caliber paired up was never. Over the last 50 years, there this hasn't been a single duo that averaged at least 30 points per game and then played together in the following season. Not Kevin Durant and James Harden, not Curry and Durant, not LeBron and Wade, not even Kobe and Shaq. But it's not just how dominant Giannis and Dame are, it's the fact that their games perfectly complement one another. Individually, defenses are forced to scheme this, against Dame and Giannis in polar opposite ways. But together, there's not a team in the league who has the defensive personnel to cover the deep Both ball of them. and the pick Both and roll of them. and the low post. Both? Yeah, yeah, ah. 
You know what? Be calm, Juan. My Celtics is going. We going to handle this. But bro, imagine, imagine Giannis want to pick and roll from the goddamn from from the from the half court. A Giannis Dame pick and roll from half court. Cause that's how that's how you got to guard Dame. You can't leave Dame open. You can't leave Dame Dame open when when Dame cross half court. You better be you 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 better put your hand up, bro. You better put your hand up, coach. It's, it it might go in. You feel me? He's in range. As soon as that boy cross half court, he's in range. Imagine Giannis half pick and roll half. Oh nah. Oh nah. <laughs> okay, we we good. We good. My my Celtics, my Celtics going to handle this. I ain't worried. But this is scary. This 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 is scary. Just think, I ain't worried, every though. single attempt at creating a superstar tandem in recent years involves two Nothing players like that Damon. usually Nothing have like similar Damon strengths and, and weaknesses. Nothing. As good as Kyrie and Durant were, their games didn't complement one another. Kawhi and PG are great individually, but as a whole, their skill sets are far too similar to nice. create a real dynamic offense. Most of the time, just taking turns on who's going to get the next possession. Even LeBron and AD are two oversized forwards who tend to play away from the basket and dominate possessions one turn at a time. For the exact opposite reason, this is why I think the duo of Jamal Murray and Nicole Jokic work so well. Yo, any guard and big is going to work well. Any guard and big, it can't be two forwards, it can't be two big men, it has to be a guard and a big. And guess what? Dame is a guard, Giannis is a big. Those are the only, like, in my eyes, those, those are the only kicking points that can work, bro. Guard and big. You feel me? You can't, like, like Jalen Brown and Tatum, yeah, they're two elite players, but they don't, I'm not going to be real, they don't complement each other's game. You feel me? They just don't, bro. But we can, we can get the job done, but they, they got to... Better, you, you, they, they gotta play together more efficiently, more better. You feel me? Can you take turns going, watching each other go, 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 somebody stay in the corner and watch somebody go ISO? We gotta compliment each other. You feel me? Dame literally pick and roll with Giannis, throw the oop, or, or, or Dame, Dame, Dame pick and roll on Giannis, pull up for a three. It, that, that, that's gonna get, that's gonna get, that's, that's gonna be detrimental. I gotta keep it a buck. Two completely different but compatible play styles. Aside from Murray, who isn't quite a you superstar, have a guard and a Jokic, big, yo. the last time we saw a duo that was made up of two mega stars with complementary skills and positions was two decades ago Shaq and Kobe. with Garden Shaq big. and Kobe. Damian Lillard's demand to be traded wasn't some breach of loyalty. It was an attempt to regain control of his career and earn a real chance at winning like Damian many playing, others yo. before him. He motivated How many all-time greats put their loyalty first and foremost and paid the price that because of motivated. guys like Reggie Miller, Dominique Wilkins, Patrick Ewing, generational talents whose careers get lost in the shuffle because they've never climbed to the top of the mountain. They never overcame the final yeah. obstacle and Yo, won an NBA championship. I want Damon to get it's a almost ring, like all nah. the all-star selections and big nah, performances, and playoff wins become an afterthought or some sort of relegated achievement because the ultimate goal was never achieved. Is it better to stay with one organization with hopes that things will eventually work out no. despite things never quite working out? Or after years of holding up your end of the deal, is it better to finally do what's best for you and put yourself in a position to win? Well, the answer the lies with the players who did put themselves first. In the mid-2000s, Kevin Garnett's incredible talents were being flushed down the drain in Minnesota, and so he said enough is enough and went to Boston. Big a move ticket. that changed the course of his career yeah. and legacy. If Kevin Durant never left OKC, we may not know him as a two-time champion in finals MVP, but rather That's another nice. generational talent who could never quite get it done. Even LeBron James all made the decision to leave the franchise that drafted them for an organization that actually gave them a chance at winning a title. Because loyalty and fans and accolades aside, above all, every player wants to lift that trophy above their head and be crowned a champion. Something that was never gonna happen with Damon Portland. So what do y'all think? Is this duo truly the favorites to win this year's no. title? Or are we getting ahead of ourselves like we've done countless times before in the past? Are Dame and Giannis a real match made for winning? Yes. Or is this team going to be just another failed attempt at They're combining going to win. talents in hopes that it yields something great? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. They're going to win games. And as always, until next time. Just not against my Celtics. <laughs> Yo, great freaking video from Jimmy Howard, man. I know he hurting right now, but hey, I know he proud of Dame. I know he proud of what Dame is, is, is about to do this year because he finna go crazy. Injuries aside, if that team stay healthy, Ooh, I, I, I'm for sure. I'm for sure gonna predict a, a Celtics Bucks Eastern Conference Finals, bro.
For sure. They went out sad last year. They had to make this move. They couldn't get worse. You feel me? Going out sad to the, to the, to the Miami Heat. Uh, uh, what? A gentleman sweep? Losing 4-1 to the Miami Heat? A, a, a team that wasn't even supposed to be in the playoffs? A playing team? Yeah, that hurts. That hurts, man. You feel me? Even though my Celtics did lose, at least it was a game seven. At least we, 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 we fought all the way down to the end, came back from 3-0, and, and, and fought all the way down to the end. The bus got molly wild. They, they got put down, bro. Got put in the dirt. But guess what? They revived, and they, and they brought Dane, Dane back with them. That's tough, man. That's tough. So, uh, I got the bus um, playing very, very great basketball. Dane Lillard and Giannis. It's, 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 oh, I can't believe that's happening, but... All good. We got your holiday. Cool. We, we all right. Anyways, man. Uh, let's end the freaking video, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. Bucks. I'll see y'all, boys. If y'all can get there. Hey, man. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe to your boy. We out of here, bro.